Hello and welcome. I'm Bio and today we're looking at another requested game. This time around we're looking at Hunter the Reckoning Wayward for the PlayStation 2. A game that is developed by High Voltage Software, published by VU Games and released on September 9th, 2003 for the PlayStation 2. I'm not really familiar with the Hunter the Reckoning series, to be completely honest with you. But I've heard good things, I've heard good things. So I'm hoping that this one will be good. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm being I'm being optimistic, right? You know, it's not like I'm playing a blast entertainment game here, is it? So I'm optimistic. But this game was requested by Terry309. Thanks for the request, Terry. Uh, it was a request that they made on... Oh, there's even a little intro. Again, a uh, request that they made on the Underworld, the Eternal War game on PS2. And they said that that game's quite similar, just in how it plays to this one. But obviously this one's way, way better. So, like I said, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Alright, so they're having to save one of their own. Okay. This is definitely a early 2000s intro right here. I miss the I miss game intros like this, where it like gives you like an idea of a brief some like like this is the story. They gotta save one of their own, and it just shows gameplay segments at high speed with like cool music playing behind it, like techno like. Doo -doo 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 I like I like that. Right, what does the option say? Ah, standard stuff. Yeah, I miss I miss intros like that. If I'm honest with you, but anyway, let's dive into Hunter the Reckoning Wayward. Um, I'll play it on easy because I suck at video games. I always say that. Oh, you can play it with two players. Nice. So what do we have here? We have four characters that we can pick from, but apparently there's more. According to the back of the box. So the back of, bo back of the box shows that there is five. So I'm guessing we're, we're having to save the, the fifth one. That's what we're doing, right? And it shows that we have... Well, I'll show them as they show on here, but the one that we're missing, I think, is Joshua, whose creed is Wayward. And I think that's the one who we're saving. So we have Spencer Deuce Wyatt, Creed, who's an Avenger. We have Samantha Alexander, whose creed is Defender. We have Father Esteban Cortez, whose creed is Judge. And then we have Cassandra Chiang, whose creed is Martyr. Uh, for me, I would probably say Father Esteban might be more of my... But then Cassandra's quite fast. Let's give Father Esteban a go, right? There's other info we can get from him. Father Esteban Cortez worked faithfully at the Ashcroft Penitentiary, resident chaplain, and and up until the day of his imbuing, bu, imbuing, quietly served as a counselor and administrator to the needs of his fellow man. Esteban is the magical powerhouse of the hunters, armed with varying edges ranging from healing to damaging to paralyzing. Esteban brings to bear magical power enough to deal with any situation. Okay, yeah, sounds cool. We'll give we'll, we'll give him a go. Maybe he's not the best character to pick. Based on my playstyle, but I always play these games like I'm playing them as a kid. Like you just pick someone because they look cool. Box of ammo. Never mind, I see it. <sighs> yeah, graphics aren't too bad for 2003. the gun. It just keeps getting dirtier. But at the same time, it's high voltage software, and their stuff tends to be hit or miss. So. Dirtier. Until it jams. Then I have to use the knife. Have you ever tried to get that rot smell off a knife? It takes hours. Mm. Which guns are you taking? You know, you can never be underarmed, I always say. Ah, I just wish I had more ammo. Your weaponsmith really blew it on that, didn't she? I mean, it's not like people just leave it lying around on the ground. I mean, I order all those weapons. I, I smuggle them in, in pieces into this rat hole. 
and she misplaces half of them. <sighs> Bitch. Let's go. Interesting. Ah. Three sixteen. Cop three eighty. Ravers six twenty. Biker three sixty five. You do not know me, but I know you. Each of you was one of the survivors of Ashcroft, but you were mistaken in your belief that you won. A cult has arisen here. Bizarre flesh creatures and rots are stalking the streets. People have started disappearing. The shadows have enshrouded this place, and I can feel a link to something otherworldly. I am seeking your help. Come to Ashcroft. We will cut the malignancy from this world one tumor at a time. Come to Ashcroft. I hate Ashcroft. What's the matter, old man? This was cake last time. Let's get this over with. Interesting. It's like, let's go to ha Ashcroft. I hate Ashcroft. Why did you go then? <laughs> Welcome back to Ashcroft. This level will introduce you to some of the necessary skills in the game. The glowing symbols on the ground are glyphs. Glyphs have been provided for you by the messengers and serve a number of purposes. Provide information, healing, conviction, restoration, attribute bonuses, and mark important information. Oh, important locations, items, and areas. Each glyph has its own unique symbol. Learn the difference between them. Blue informational glyphs provide valuable information. Activated by pressing... Okay. Also, here's, here's the priest. Cool. All right. The people of Ashcroft are in danger. The town has become infested once again. Destroy the abominations that infest the town before it's too late. This is a rot. Mindless and slow, but extremely lethal. Use your melee or range attacks. Destroy by pressing R1 or the R2 button. Oh, this is a rot. So, if you need it. Nice job. Now, try your melee or range attacks on a couple more rots. Oh! Ah. So even if you chop off their head, they still they can still attack you. Okay. So you do with the first vital technique, the chain attack. Each hunter has a different number of attacks in the chain attack. Three times. You see the rots. You can try to chain attack on those rots if you don't need the predators. You can also just shoot them. Good job. Remember that you can aim any attack or combo with the right analog stick while shooting. Try a jumping attack. Press L2, press R1. Some of us have spawned in the parking lot. Practice your jump attack or we'll just eliminate them. All right. What are these blue things then? Oh, we've got, I've collected that. It's health, I guess. Can I jump on the car? I can. Can you get on the car? No, we can't. Haha, -ha, you can't get on the car! Are you too stupid? So, what are the, the. They call these rots, though, but they're zombies. They look like zombies. All right, they look like zombies. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like the jump attack. The jump attack is not very good. Well done. One last attack type, and we'll move on. The next attack is charge up attack. Okay. Yep, yeah, hold. Right, yep. Yeah. Yes, it works. Why would I do... Okay. Why would I do a charge attack when... Alright, I'm going to ask a question. Is there a lock-on button? Because if there isn't a lock-on button, this game has already failed. So, let's have a look-see. Is it going to give me a lock-on button? Nicely done. Let's take a bit of training. All right. I'm just saying ahead of time. If there, you you have got here, right? You, this game is like Onichibara. I'm not saying literally like Onichibara. I'm saying that this game is in the same genre. It's a beat 'em up of some kind, right? This is a beat 'em up. I don't care what anyone likes to what one wants to say about it. It's a beat 'em up, plain and simple, right? 
you're in this area, a bunch of enemies are around, you beat them up, move on to the next area. It's a beat em up, right? Where you have a, a beat em up that is on a 3D plane. In other words, I can do this. Not, not just this, but this. A lock on button is paramount. You need it. It's not an option, it's a requirement, right? So if you haven't got a lock on button, attacks like this are pointless. I'm doing this, charging my attack. The enemy's already behind me at this point, and I'll look. So if I hold it down, do you think I can... Look, I'm facing that direction. So if I press the opposite direction on the analog stick and let go, it doesn't do it. It doesn't. He doesn't change direction. He continues with the original direction, right? Which, unless you have a lock-on button and the enemy's coming towards you and you're far away and you do it while the enemy's slowly coming towards you, not while he's already at you, fine. But is there a lock-on button? I don't know. We'll find out, hopefully. Many objects in the world can be destroyed if you cause enough damage to them. Go ahead and destroy the garbage can. Picked up a submachine gun. Second risk called man. Damage. To change weapons, press the circle button, circle through them. So to select. One by noise. So, right. Sometimes objects will drop. Someone broken. Okay. Try taking out these weapons with your new weapon. Alright, I'm I'm just pressing every single button at the moment. What the hell was that? Alright. You do auto lock on a little bit, only when you are looking at the enemy. I would still like rather have a, 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 de a designated lock on button and a designated crosshair. Even right now, a crosshair would be really good. You 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 look at you do a full circle and you can see the crosshair just so you know where the guns are pointing ahead of time. It's kind of feel like it's a requirement to rescue innocents. All you have to do is touch them. All right. You have, you will receive a, a continue once you have saved enough innocents. Search everywhere for them. Okay, let's head into the hotel now. Go over the entrance. Stand on the green glyph. When the when green gl exit glyph marks, ex uh, area exits, they will enter. Okay, cool. Oh, press the wrong button again. All right, let's go in. You've done well so far. Let's move on to edges. Each hunter has his or her own edges. Some hunters have the same edge, but other edges need to create. Perform supernatural feats. I mean, Martyr's edges co cost health and conviction to use. Press the triangle button to use the edge pressure. Well, I don't have multiple edges. Conviction glyph. When activated, the petition will restore your hunter's conviction. Okay. What's this one then? I don't know. Pressing X on it is not doing anything there. Yeah, but what's this one? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, fine. There you go. I used it. Oh. We used in certain situations. Consult manual for more details on. I just the blue cap point. Oh, okay. This type of blue gift marks a hit, but marks hidden supply caches. Break the news machine. Excellent, now it's time to learn how to perform an escape move. Press the R1 button twice and then the... Kudos to you. I, I didn't do it. Okay, so I guess that does technically get you out of a crowded situation. Oh. Absorb that one as well. Oh, so that's a health one. Strafe hold left to strafe hold the left analog stick forward or, or back while holding the right analog stick 
Left to right, using this technique with a ranged weapon can be devastating your embassies. Now move into the hallway and clear a path to the hotel room. Okay. Hmm. I'm a bit curious about how some of the things work. should know more about these people. Let's spread out and see what we can find that's useful. Quite the whole movie collection this guy has. These videos must be from surveillance cameras. They're dated up until a few days ago. The most recent tapes are missing. I wonder if they've collected them or not. I think I know what their plans were. Everyone, take a look at these. They were looking for something in this area. We should start our search for them in the same place. Okay. Fair. Now the option to save game. Sure. Why not? So what's my thoughts so far? Obviously, we're only done like the tutorial. It, it seems like it's got a, quite a bit going on. But if you said to me, well, okay, Bio, is this your type of game? I would probably say no. But then again, I do remember enjoying playing Freedom Fighters back in the day. I feel like this is a li little bit similar. A little bit. Oh, okay. So you can go to the computer and do certain things. Go to the TV and watch cutscenes. Can I go to the toilet? No, we can go here and pick places where we can go. I'm guessing we're going to the theater district. Well, let's try a different character this time. That's fine. Got an idea of how the priest plays. So let's try. So we retrieve videotape. That's what we're doing. Cover the hotel the lead here. You recover the security, uh, the security video takes perhaps they will lead you to the missing hunter. Cool. Well, here comes the old enemies. Is that ammo? Oh, looks like ammo, but I guess I got max ammo. But yeah, it's just go around, melee attack these rots. Yeah, that is quite literally ammo. Let's drop in, but not that I need it. But is there a point of me attacking these, or is they just going to be endless? I feel like these are just going to be endless. Everywhere you go, there's going to be more and more. I get, I understand the appeal of this, but at the same time I don't. For me, specifically. I'm talking about me specifically.
We just can't keep going on and on and on and on. Because that'd be stupid. Yes. You found a videotape. Alright, so that's one of the videotapes. But if I took this and I compared it to the Underworld game I played for the PlayStation 2, this is far superior. Don't get me wrong, this is like leagues superior. I know what I'm doing, thanks. You don't need to tell me what I'm doing. I'm just attacking the enemies because I figure we meant to attack enemies. I like the little reflection we've got because of the ground being wet as well. So like graphically, it's not too bad for place to, uh, for 2003. I'm not a fan of that, though. To be honest, I'm not a fan of you attacking an enemy, killing an enemy, and then a new enemy spawns exactly where that old enemy was. I'm not a fan of that. Going to be honest, but for me, this is this is what I would call a I just want to chill out and and kill some enemies kind of game. Because that's all I'm doing really. Again, look at me. Look at how many times I'm missing attacking these enemies because there isn't an. Look, look at that because there isn't a lock-on button. Oh, an enemy spawn! Oh, beautiful! More enemies spawning in front of me. Fantastic! Getting free hits in. Thank you, game developers. I'm not surprised if I'm honest. I'm going to be honest with you. But like, if you said to me, "What's your honest opinion of this bio?" Mixed feelings. It's definitely mixed feelings. I'm not saying it's a good game. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I've, it's mixed feelings. It's not my type of game. There's certain things the game needs to have for me to say, well, yeah, you know, thank God it's got this. Thank God it's got that. To make it more playable for me, needs to have a lock on. That's straight up, straight up, straight up. Needs to have a lock on. The fact that it hasn't got one just makes the combat a bit goofy. There we go. Oh, we got... What are these? Spider things? Now we got spider things. Fantastic. Oh, we got even more of them. I don't even know if I'm hitting these half the time. I love, I love how I'm missing with a shotgun quite a lot. Simply because... I'm not actually aiming the shotgun exactly where it's supposed to be, but again, once again, I'd like to remind you, needs lock on. Oh, I'm getting bored of attacking these enemies. It's just boring me now, to be honest. Oh my word, look how many is just spawning again and again. I'm just ignoring them now, because it's boring me, attacking these enemies. It's not fun. I'm not the type of... I like mindless violence just as much as the next guy, but... Oh, does this give me light? Oh, there's a little. There's a little what's this dude?
Oh no, I might die. Such a shame. You can use the analog stick to kind of, like, strafe around and whatever, or whatever it's doing. Which is fine. But I would still like a be the ability to be able to see where I'm going. Alright, so we managed to get bonus music from that. All right. If I'm honest with you, I'm at the point now where I just, I'm, I'm kind of done with the game, to be honest. I'll put it out there, I have mixed feelings on this game. I have mixed feelings. It, I see the similarities between it and, and the Underworld, the Eternal War video game. This one is far superior, far superior. But I still have mixed feelings because it's not my type of game. It needs to have, for me, a beat-em-up, a, a 3D beat-em-up that is not on a 2D plane needs to have a lock-on button. Needs to have it. It's not an option. It, it's a requirement. It needs to have a lock-on button. The fact that it hasn't got one automatically lowers the value of the game for me. Automatically. It's the re main reason why I don't mind the later Onichibara games, but not the original ones, because the original ones don't have a lock-on button. Like the original PS2 Onichibara games don't have a lock-on button. Don't like them. Because to me, it's like, your combat has got to be so good so good for a lock on button not to be a requirement and the combat's not where it needs to be for the, for there not to be a lock on require a lock on um button requirement to not have the ability to lock on to enemies it's a requirement for this game because the combat's not where it needs to be for it to not need it so but the presentation's good characters are cool world and Seems interesting. So, yeah. This is the kind of game that I would, if I was really, really interested in the world, would go and watch a full playthrough on YouTube. Not play it myself. If I was really interested in the story. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to call it there. I, again, Terry, if this is a, one of your beloved games from when you were younger... I'm not trying to shit on the game. I'm being objective. You have to realize I don't have any nostalgia for this game. And I play games and I give my honest opinion of what, again, my honest opinion, my first impression, whether or not I like the game or not. I, t I, I'm, I try to make positive points about what I like about the game. But there's, I also am going to just talk about what I don't like about the game as well. So... So no offense against you if this is a game, one of your favorite games from your childhood. So it's just not my it's just not my thing. So anyway, I've been Bo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.